Welcome back. This is the seventh lesson on the solar system, and it is our final lesson on the gas giants. So today, in this slideshow, we are going to look at Uranus and Neptune, the ice giants. Here are the contents. This is what I will be talking about. And let's get started. Introduction Uranus. It is pronounced Uranus. It's from the Greek word meaning sky. In Greek, we say uranos as sky. So that's why it's pronounced Uranus. It's very hard to see Uranus in the sky. Most people do not have good enough eyesight to see it. It was actually the first planet discovered using a telescope. It is the seventh planet in our solar system. It has 13 rings, 27 moons. A day on Uranus is 17 hours, 14 minutes. A year is 84 years. That's how long it takes for Uranus to go around the sun. 84 years. Wow. Structure and surface. It has an upper cloud layer. It has an iron nickel core. And if you look at this picture, the first thing you'll notice is how tiny the core is. It is a blue planet. It has an atmosphere. The mantle is icy, but it is also hot and thick. Okay, It is a gas giant and Uranus spins sideways. Atmosphere. It has a bluish, greenish color. I know the last slide said blue, but it is bluish green. The gas on Uranus is methane. Methane is a smelly gas. It smells like farts. That doesn't really help Uranus's, um, you know, name calling, we'll call it. If you smell like a fart. The temperature averages at about minus 224 degrees Celsius. That is very cold. Wind speeds on Uranus is about, they usually go about 900 kilometers per hour. Now, magnetosphere and other info. This is the first time I'm mentioning the magnetosphere. That's basically the magnetic field. Uh, it's because this one has a weird one. Uranus rotates on its side. Look at the diagram below. So you see where the arrow is pointing? That's the North Pole. In the back, where the arrow's, like the other side of the arrow is the South Pole. So on Earth, it's usually the top and the bottom. And there's a purple line going through the opposite way diagonally. That is the magnetic field. It is tilted. So this is a very strange planet to say the least. Moons. All the moons of Uranus are named after characters from Shakespeare plays. The moons are referred to as the literary moons because they come from Shakespeare's plays. Of the 27 moons, only five are somewhat known. That is Ariel, Oberon, Titania, Umbriel, and Miranda. Some moons are less than 16 kilometers across and are blacker than asphalt. That should say blacker. All the moons appear to be roughly half water and half ice. Okay, here are some facts about Uranus. It is about 2.8 billion kilometers from the sun. It is known as the sideways planet. It was discovered by William Herschel in 1781. The original name of Uranus was George. Now, the reason why it was called George is because when William Herschel discovered it, he wanted to name the planet after the king, and the king's name was George. But uh, the science people decided that the names of the planets will continue being named after Greek and Roman mythology uh, people. So George was kicked out uranus was put in this ice giant is four times larger than earth scientists believe that a massive planet smashed into uranus and knocked it sideways other scientists believe the gravity of saturn jupiter neptune caused this so that's what caused uranus to be uh like rotating on its back so basically they're saying that these other planets swept the uranus off its feet we don't know yet. Those are a couple theories that are out there. I'm sure there are more, um, but those seem to be like the popular ones. Let's look at some photos here. Um, this first photo on the left side, we'll look at the left side first, then move to the right. This photo shows the storms that show up and disappear on Uranus. Uh, it happens quite a bit, actually. They just pop up out of nowhere and they disappear. It's kind of like Earth when there's a hurricane. It shows up for a few days and then it goes away. The bottom left here, this is a cool photo that shows the dark side of Uranus. 
pretty pretty awesome. I like that one. Uh, my personal favorite is the photo at the top here. Uh, I just love how the blue, it looks like a marble. It looks so peaceful, but it's so windy on that planet, it's not peaceful. And over here are the moons of Jupiter. Uh, sorry, Jupiter. Oh my God, sorry. Uranus. The, these are the moons that we talked about in this um, slideshow. So there you go. Let's transition over to Neptune. He's the guardian of our solar system. It's the final planet in our solar system. We'll talk about Pluto in the next slideshow for all the Pluto lovers out there. Neptune is about 4.5 billion kilometers away from the sun. It takes light about 250 minutes to reach Neptune. One day on Neptune is 16 hours, 6 minutes. A year on Neptune is about 164 years. It has 14 moons and 5 rings. It is another ice, ice giant. It is named after the Roman god of the sea. In Greek mythology, Neptune is named Poseidon. So here's some photos of the structure and the surface. Neptune and Uranus are very similar. Um, over here in, in the yellow writing here, it says Neptune has a dark spot, but this is not a storm. Well, I've, I've actually read that it is a storm, that it's not a storm. Basically what happens is this thing lasts about five years and then it disappears and then it shows up somewhere else. So it's very mysterious. If you also look at the picture here, it, tells, it shows you that it has a small rocky core, just like uh, Uranus. Neptune also has icy materials that are hot. The icy gas is methane, water, and ammonia. It has a tiny core, and it really does not have a surface. So there we go. Very similar. Atmosphere. Like Uranus, Neptune is made up of 80% hydrogen and 19% helium and trace amounts of methane that give it a blue color. There's other reasons that it has a blue color, but that's the one I found. Uh, the other ones are a little more complicated. Neptune is the windiest planet in our solar system. Basically, the winds on Neptune are about 2,000 kilometers per hour. Um, the fastest winds that we've probably experienced here in our town is probably 100 kilometers per hour. And it was pretty bad. So you can imagine how windy. Like, I mean, your umbrella is probably not going to last on Neptune, that's for sure. Neptune's magnetic field is opposite of Uranus's and it, but it is also tilted. There are a few spots on Neptune there. So if we look at this diagram here, the magnetic fields, it's just comparing Uranus and Neptune. They're opposite of each other and they're kind of tilted. So very strange stuff going on at the back of the solar system there. Neptune's moons. Triton is a complex moon. It's the only exciting moon. I'm only going to talk about Triton because the other moons are kind of, there's not much information about them. And the, this is the one that's the most interesting one it has a thin layer of ice it has features found nowhere else it has pits on the surface it kind of looks like can't a cantaloupe the bottom part looks like a cantaloupe it was captured sorry for the mistake by neptune because it it is orbit it's orbiting in the opposite direction so all all the moons of, Ju of uh, neptune are going in one direction and triton's going in the opposite direction so that's what that's what scientists use as a clue to tell us that it probably was captured by Neptune's gravity. It has geysers that shoot ice and rocks, just like um, the other moons that we looked at, uh, Enceladus more specifically from Saturn. The rest of the moons are named after sea creatures from Greek mythology. Some facts number two, Neptune has the second largest magnetic field after Jupiter. Only Voyager 2 has studied Neptune, and that was back in 1989. Its orbit around the sun is sometimes further than Pluto's. So basically, Neptune and Pluto crisscross each other on their, around their orbits. So, I mean, I always wondered if they're going to collide with each other. I mean, I don't know. I haven't researched that, but it's just a question I would ask a scientist if I ever met one. It is believed that Neptune and Uranus have rotated spots in the solar system. So much like Jupiter and Saturn have rotated, they believe that Neptune and Uranus have rotated as well. Uh, there's a, there's a, a space telescope called the Hubble Space Telescope. It just sits outside the Earth. That's where we've gotten most of our pictures of Neptune from. Okay, here are some final thoughts. Uh, both Uranus and Neptune are ice giants. They are both very similar. Their surface appears to be boring, but both planets are very windy. They are the least explored planets. Both have tilted magnetic fields. 
both have rings. And in my opinion, these planets are boring. I am not a fan of these two planets, but if you are, fantastic, more power to you. And here are the credits for today's video. They're also found in the description. So thank you for watching. Our next video will be about Pluto. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.